I'm Andrew Grove with Breakers Gas. Uh, we're here today with the new Multimatic 220 AC-DC. We're going to try out uh, the welding processes this thing has to offer. Uh, we're going to do TIG, MIG, and STICK. We're going to nest. We're going to focus on AC TIG um, for that portion because this is the biggest hype around this machine is that it can do AC TIG, that it can do aluminum along with MIG and STICK. Um, so it's a true multi-process machine. Um, so I got some aluminum here, let's give this thing a shot and uh, see how it does. We'll come around the front here to the auto set. So we got auto set on, we got TIG, we're gonna go up one, TIG aluminum. We got our 14 pin remote plugged in. Tells us where to plug in our TIG torch and ground. And so we got put on the auto set. 210 amps on quarter inch. Let's back that down. We got some thinner material here. We've got 14 gauge aluminum. Gives us a target setting of 105. Let's give it a shot. I got 332 tungsten. Let's see how this thing goes. So I got my piece of aluminum here, foot pedal down here, ground. We'll uh, already wire brush the aluminum. Should be good. Bead right there, got a little bead. Not bad on the start, got a little dirt in the, oh, that's from the aluminum, but other than that, it welds great on the, uh, on that AC setting. It starts up nice, it's got a high freak start on it. Uh, that's pretty impressive coming out of a new machine. Let's bump it up to a uh, quarter inch here. I got some quarter inch aluminum. I'll give you a shot. So all you do is bump it up on your setting there. Gives you 210, 210 amps on your target setting. Still 332 tungsten. Let's give it a shot. Well, it's really well in that, up in that 210 amp range. I mean, that's pretty impressive for uh, that small of a unit. We're pushing it pretty close to its maximum output, and it does well. That's pretty, that's really impressive. Um, mind you, that's just a flat bead. Nothing, nothing crazy new. But that's, that's still, that's pretty sweet. I'm impressed by that machine. That does, does very well. Now, let's see if we can take, you can shut this auto set off. And it gives you the frequency. So you can change your frequency up to 150 and it goes down to 60. So 60 is going to be like your average, your diversion, your sinker wave, and then you can adjust it upward from there. And we're going to try, let's try, we won't go any higher on amperage. Let's try 150 on the frequency. well up in that 150. You notice the difference in the sound between the auto set and that. Um, I think auto set welds around 120 on 
the frequency and even bumped it up to 150. So it's pretty cool that you have that that option to change your frequency on this unit. Kind of crosses between a, uh, a dynasty, the, the bigger dynasty. So um, very cool. Well, let's since we tried aluminum, let's go uh, hop over to Meg. I'll change out the gas bottle and we'll try it out. All right, since we swapped over the gas bottle, um, you can leave them both hooked up because it has two gas ports on the back side. So hey, you can see we're stuck on take aluminum, 150 on the frequency, 210 on the amps. Watch this, all I do is tap the trigger. And it switches to the MIG function. So I, I left all my foot pedal hooked up, TIG torch, everything's all hooked up. All I had to do was tap the trigger and it swapped process. So that's called quick tech. It'll swap between processes at the click of a trigger. So I go back, I could hit that foot pedal and it would swap back. If you watch that screen, it'll see I went right back to the TIG setting that I just had. Uh, click the trigger again, goes right to the mix. So there is no coming around, so if you're working on something, fabbing something, and you're doing TIG and you're doing MIG, you could just go between both of them and not ever worry about um, flip-flopping. All right, so now that we're set up the MIG weld here, we're gonna uh, use the auto set feature. Uh, their target settings, 20.9 volts, 456 on the wire feed, quarter inch material, 030 wire. Um, just to give you guys a good reminder, when you open this package and get it, you only get two contact tips. And you only get one nozzle, one diffuser. So it might be a good idea to pick those up at bakersgas.com when you pick up this machine also. So let's try this out. Give it a shot here. Well, it's a pretty nice bead for uh, just using the auto set. It reminds me of uh, the 211 or the 215. Very similar in the weldability on that MIG welding. I mean, I mean, once again, this is just a straight bead, nothing fancy. We're just running 7525. Um, 030 wire. It's pretty nice. It's not bad at all. All right, so we have our stick stinger hooked up. Let me just unplug the TIG torch. Plugged in the stick. Stinger. I got it set for the auto set. 330 second, 718, that's what I have. It would only let us go to 316's material. We have quarter inch, but it gave us a projected setting of 100 amps. Let's give it a shot, see how it works. I ran that electrode clear down to the numbers there. Welded great. Oh, the work start was beautiful. Let's see if I can't plate that off here. Yeah, oh, yeah. Look, looks like off really nice. Got no complaints. It, it welded great. Um, reminded me almost of uh, the old Maxstar 150s. Came, you know, the little TIG stick welders. Work start was beautiful. Um, let's try, we'll change the settings up. That was at 100 amps. Give this a shot. We'll turn the auto set off. And you can change the dig. 30 is not a bad number though. We're gonna, just gonna leave it at 30. Um, but let's run her down to like 95. Try 92.
a bit cooler setting, but it still ran great. Um, very impressed with that um, stick welding capability there. See if I can. Um, I it stick wells really well. Let's see. We're gonna turn it on 6011 and uh, go back to auto set. We're gonna go back down to 6011. Eighth inch it gives us 90 amps, but we're gonna run 6010. Now they say it won't start this run. We're just gonna see if it'll weld with it. I believe it will. It might cut out on us, but it'll still weld. Right there, it ran that 6010 electrode just fine. Arc cut out about halfway through, but I just it was long arc. I was long arcing a little bit, and it didn't like that. But for something it says it can't run, it ran it, and it ran it well. I'm, I'm, that's very impressive. Uh, a few videos back, I think we did a uh, test trial on, on the 215 and the the 200 and we ran 6010 electrode with both and they both struggled to run it and this machine proves them both wrong it runs great so that's pretty impressive all right so now that we ran all uh, three different processes with this unit particularly the, the ac output on the tig side awesome machine uh, i can't say enough about it i would uh if you're thinking about the 215 spend the money get the 220 uh well worth it uh, just just the aluminum function alone is worth that to me. That's a great great little unit. Um, very impressed with the what they came out with here. Uh, you know, I know a lot of people want to see some comparison. So if you want to see a comparison video, you know, shoot us what your comments below and let us know what you want to see. I mean, if you want to see me compare this to the 215, we'll go head to head. I think this thing will eat its lunch though for sure. Um, and just some consumable items that you may need so everybody gets this out of the box and. Well, then they don't have anything to weld with or use. So what I would recommend getting is some steel filler metal for uh, the TIG sign, some aluminum filler metal, uh, some extra tungsten, uh, some extra TIG consumables, and some stick electrode. Um, that should get you running. I mean, it comes with all the MIG setup, but if you want to add some contact tips, some diffusers, some nozzles in there, uh, definitely do that. So we're going to throw out a promo code on that. Uh, ten dollars off a hundred dollar purchase for consumables with this unit so uh, there's a lot of baker's bucks going on baker's bonus going on um, so that you could wrap all this up and get a good chunk of money back or towards other purchases on uh, bakersgas.com thanks for watching my video uh, stay tuned for more